this week's particular theme is rest and reflect. So for many of us, life is often fast paced and demanding. It's filled with work, chores, activities and obligations. And during the holiday season, we may find ourselves busier than ever. Right? We're often shopping, wrapping, sending holiday cards, attending festive gatherings with loved ones, or hosting our friends and family. And although there is often a lot going on this time of year, it's important to take some time to intentionally rest and reflect. In our culture, which often equates busyness with success, it can feel challenging to take the time to slow down and recharge. I love this quote. I'd like to share it by John Lubbock. He says, rest is not idleness. Rest is a very valuable and necessary part of our lives and self-care. It's important that we rest so that we don't burn out. It gives us an opportunity to recharge our batteries. And there are many ways that we can rest. You know, some examples include snuggling on the couch to read a good book, savoring a warm cup of tea or coffee by the fire, listening to our favorite music, or taking a warm bath. There's so many other ways as well. And when we are resting, we may also wish to reflect. Introspection is another valuable part of life. Research has been done that has shown that spending time reflecting impacts the way that we build memories and make meaning. And what better time to reflect than the end of the year? As we reflect on the year past, we can recall all of the positive and wonderful memories that we have made perhaps of milestones, celebrations, holidays, accomplishments, new friendships, a vacation. Maybe we even recollect smaller but still significant moments like being in awe of the changing leaves or tending to our garden over the summer months. So take some time to recall all of the highlights of this past year, what went well, what worked, and equally important, perhaps recalling what didn't work and learning from this. Really taking the time to reflect on the past year can help us to develop an understanding of what matters most to us, what our priorities are, what we are grateful for, and how we spend our time. And this is so that we can move forward into the new year. And as we do this, we can continue to do more of the things that are beneficial and positive in our lives or intentionally add them to our lives. This reflection allows us to take a bird's eye view and assess what is working and contributing to our well being, and then use these as the building blocks for change, growth, and development in the future. So give yourself the gift of slowing down and resting and reflecting this holiday season. I also want to add that when we give ourselves the opportunity to slow down, we may be more present for the moments before us. And with this awareness, we can begin to recognize the moments in our life that bring us joy, happiness, peace, and contentment as they are happening. And then we can take the time to intentionally savor these very precious moments of our lives. Taking the time to appreciate and savor even the small and simple moments is such a powerful way to enhance our well being. So, savoring involves noticing and appreciating the positive aspects of life. It's about being present with these moments, letting them linger just a little bit, and then in the right time, letting them go. It's about bringing an awareness to the pleasure that these moments evoke. It's really about being aware of the goodness that is happening as it is happening. Often when we embrace the world with a loving and connected presence, we notice precious moments, even in the small or simple and ordinary moments of our lives. And taking time to savor these positive experiences, to appreciate these positive experiences and linger with these positive experiences can greatly increase our happiness. And what better time to do this than the holiday season and as we prepare for the new year. So with that, I would like to invite us to transition into the formal portion of our meditation this evening. 
So just taking a moment to find yourself a comfortable seat, whatever that might mean for you right now. And there's an invitation to close the eyes or soften the gaze, bringing the gaze inward. Maybe noticing the feet making contact with the floor. Likewise, maybe sensing into the sits bones resting on the seat. If it feels right, maybe finding a little extra length in the spine, reaching through the crown of the head. And as you continue to settle into this posture, whether you're seated or laying down or in any other position, perhaps you become aware of the fact that the body is breathing. Maybe noticing how it's breathing all on its own with no need to do anything. And now just gently resting the awareness on the breath Noticing one breath in, one breath out, another breath in, and another breath out. And continuing to follow along the breath in this way. Just staying with each breath, breath by breath, and moment by moment. Nowhere to go, nowhere to be, but right here with the breath. And if the mind wanders off, that's okay. Just gently coming back to the breath once again. We can always come home to the breath. Just riding the waves of the natural breath cycle. Staying with each inhalation and each exhalation as best you can. Just staying with this ebb and flow of the breath. And maybe noticing what it's like to slow down, to offer yourself some stillness, 
some self-care after perhaps a very busy day. How is it to give yourself the gift of presence, of rest? Just continuing to be with the breath. Being, breathing, and noticing what it's like to invite the sense of stillness. Remember, rest is not idleness. Rest is valuable self-care. And now taking a moment to reflect on this past year. So just recalling this past year, taking some time to play the highlight reel in your mind's eye. Just taking some time to recollect the past year. And now reflecting on what worked for you, what contributed to your well being, your thriving, your flourishing. And how might you continue to include this in your life or add more of this into your life? And now imagining what it would be like if you did. 
just envisioning what that would be like. And if it's possible, let this be embodied. Noticing where in your body you feel this, whether it's a fullness in the heart, a bubbling of joy, a lightness, a tingling of the fingertips, or a warmth in the chest. Just sensing into your own body and noticing where you feel this. And now letting this go and calling to mind one particular joyful experience from this past year. So whether that was eating a delicious meal, having a heartwarming conversation, listening to your child laugh, or opening a holiday card from a loved one. And maybe many things are coming to mind, but just settling on one. And now recalling the details of this experience in your mind's eye. So what happened? Who is there? What were you doing? Maybe recalling the visuals, the colors, textures. Maybe recalling the sounds or aromas, just recalling as many details in the mind's eye as possible. And as you do this, perhaps noticing the emotions, the feelings that this evokes, what's bubbling up for you? Perhaps joy, happiness, peace, contentment, a sense of ease or calm. Just noticing the emotion and labeling it. Ah, this is peace. Or, oh, this is joy. Maybe there are many emotions bubbling up, or perhaps there's just one. And now noticing the physical sensations associated with these emotions. Where can these positive emotions be felt in the body? So tuning into the body and seeing where the emotions can be felt.
Maybe it's an ease in the shoulders, a lightness, a warmth. Just seeing where these emotions can be felt in your own body. And now perhaps taking a moment to delight and relish in these feelings of positivity. Just lingering with this experience and all that it evokes. Letting yourself really enjoy it. Savor it. Giving yourself this gift of all its goodness. And in your own time, letting this experience go and coming back to the breath in the body once again. So just letting it go in your own time and coming back to the breath once more. our tried and true companion, that is the breath. And perhaps even savoring the breath as you follow it along. Maybe you sense into the deliciousness of the inhale and the effortless release of the exhale. Even something as simple as the breath can be savored, can be enjoyed. Just continuing to rest in awareness. the importance of savoring. Night falls, the air turns cool, the time between fall and winter, night and day, dark and light, now and tomorrow. 
Your eyes take in the color old enough to understand the importance of savoring. Just allowing those words to land if they resonate with you. And in a moment, I will be ringing the bell and perhaps allowing yourself to fully enjoy this experience as the sound enters your ears. And when you're ready, beginning to wiggle fingers and toes, just bringing some gentle movements back into the body. Whenever you're ready, allowing the eyes to open if they had been closed. And maybe you'd like to take some even more exaggerated movements if that feels right for you. And so as always, I'd like to leave you with a weekly invitation. And my invitation for you is to schedule some time to rest this holiday season. And that may mean even making an appointment with yourself to make sure that it happens. And I'd also like to invite you to intentionally savor the best moment of the day after getting into bed at night. So this is something you might wish to do each night as you go to bed, right? As you lay there, recollect in your mind um, the best moment of the day and really allow yourself to savor that. And if you continue to do this, eventually you'll naturally begin looking for these precious moments during the day. And this will prompt a greater awareness for moments to appreciate. This can help us to create a positive feedback loop and it will eventually become habitual. So I want to say that I hope your holiday season is filled with rest, reflection, and many moments to savor. I'd like to end with this quote, savor those moments that make your heart glow. Savor those moments that make your heart glow.